Support for a Comedy Advice Podcast is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. Four different generations of Manscaped trimmers, and this is the latest one. Do you think the first one tells stories to its great-grandson of how it had to trim uphill both ways through the snow. I'm not sure, but you'll never know because, oh man, that one rhymed. Because this trimmer is what you're going to get the latest and greatest. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer just for you. That's right, a Comedy Advice podcast listener. 10% off, you might ask? No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that for you boys because I care for my boys. And that metaphorically speaks for all of our balls. Uh, I've got it in frame for all you YouTube watchers. And it is amazing. Look at this. It's a beautiful, it's a wireless charger. Just goes right in. And this bad boy, check this out. You guys are going to hear a soft hum. Maybe I'll sell this as like sleep sounds. Oh, beautiful. And there's a little light. Amazing. So you can just, you're, you're like a little coal miner down there. Hopefully not Chilean, but you're down there. You've got your little light and then you can see every thing. You know, the ad read tells me to tell a funny story of when I shave. And I really don't have one for you because I'm terrified, man. I have not shaved in so long. Obviously, you can see the hair growing up here. It was twice as long down there. I might have so much down here that it's helping reduce the carbon emissions and greenhouse gases. We've got little mini Amazon, but not anymore because I use this Manscaped 4.0, the lawnmower 4.0, and bam, all gone. It's like marble. You know, the, have you ever walked on that hotel? You've been in the fancy hotel. The floor is made of that marble, freshly clean, and you can almost see the reflection of yourself. That's the little Satanis down here, little Stephs. They are beautiful. So guys, <laughs> don't, don't be silly. Don't go and try and use your face razor or your face trimmer to go down here, go down south. Nay, nay, nay. What are you going to do? Are you using toilet paper to blow your nose that's been used already? No, you're not a silly goose. Be a smart duck, but get 20% off and free shipping with the code ACAP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code ACAP. You unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Hello, and welcome to a comedy advice podcast. My name is Stefan Satani. I'm your host. And I'm just coming here, sneaking up with a little intro kiss. Mwah! It's going to be a long smooch because in that, maybe there'll be a little tongue. No, but here we go. The smooch includes a little love for you guys. Hey, you listener or watcher, viewer, I think is the more appropriate tune. Watcher, stalkers, all of you guys bundle y'all up together because you've just been a lovely bunch and I'm super happy that you're showing support. I love all the DMs that are coming through too. Like, hey, keep doing what you're doing. Love the shows. Um, I'm outside your window. All of those are amazing. And I can't thank you guys enough, especially Hank. Thank you, Hank. I see, hi. He's waving from his car, parked across the street. And I think he's going to kill me, guys. This might be a cry for help. Please help. But all you other non-lethal fans thank you so much if you haven't yet please subscribe leave a review or follow me on instagram or do you know what whatever feels right to you just reach spiritual take a deep breath and wherever that breath lands if there's some sort of if it hits an organ and seeps out of the lungs and is like you know what i think i could help stefan by baking him a pie or bringing him a chipotle burrito with black beans, not pinto, okay? Black beans, Jim. Uh, you know, that'd be great, whatever you want to do. But really appreciate you guys. Love you guys so much. We've also got Patrick Aiken, hilarious guest. I think we could be brothers because we look a lot alike, except he's way more handsome, better looking, um, suave, chic, and better dressed. But other than that, we're practically the same. And he's a hilarious guy. He's a, he has so many shows here in Phoenix. We talk a little bit about it. And we have some fun. We joke around. Follow him if you haven't already, because you should have done it by the time I said Patrick Aiken. Patrick Aiken was taken.com. <laughs> That's so fun to say. Just, you, just like that, Patrick Aiken was taken.com. And maybe he's got a .org too, but the links are in the show notes. 
follow him for show dates and tour dates. You can um, see that there. You can also follow him on Instagram. All those links are in the show notes. So you little bears can just crawl on over, bring your cubs and show him some support, show him some love. You can show me more love. Hank, I'm going to be performing at the Tempe, the bridge improv at Tempe. I'm going to be doing 10 minutes clean, squeaky clean, little squeakers uh there august 1st at five o'clock i'll put a link in the show notes so you got guys the show notes is your your buddy okay in this in this case so please stay close hold hands with the show notes because i'm also going to be hosting five shows at jp's comedy club august 24th through the 26th i'm also what else am i doing i've got a lot of cool stuff coming up been writing a lot been doing a lot of comedy so you know, I think it's the hair because I, before the hair, I wasn't really that funny. And now the more the hair grows, the more people laugh at me. So I think I'm just going to keep it growing. Maybe it's my prop. Maybe this is my thing. Like Gallagher, he brought watermelons. My long gangly hair is my thing, my rise to fame. So I don't know. It's not really a beautiful color. It, it kind of matches all of the the houses in Phoenix because they blend in with the boring desert. So uh, I guess I'm just a little desert blossom. I'm your desert blossom because if you bring up the heat, I grow. Okay. And I want you guys to grow with me. Uh, don't be a prick like a cactus. I'm like a, well, I guess I am like a cactus. That's the only thing that grows here. Maybe, well, no, an Ocotillo, but that still has pricks. So I don't know, but just, just be careful. Admire me from afar. Hank, Hank, far farther the restraining order said 50 feet no guys i might have to go real quick but uh while i deal with hank i want you guys to enjoy the episode okay here we go i am feeling a little chapped on the lips but i am feeling moist at heart and super excited because we're going to jump into this right now i just put on some chapstick so do you need like a Uh, do i need a chap break it's like a little pit stop i've got my little one Oh yeah, right I mean, here? I wasn't offering to kiss you or anything. Nope, that That's, wasn't well, that wasn't I, what was happening. We do have nope. a segment. It's a pandemic. Chat swap. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. <laughs> but in the meantime, I will use Lip Naturals by Oral Labs. Oh, no, Oral Abs. No, Oral Labs. Aura, Aura Labs. Yeah, it's O R A. Oral Abs. <laughs> capital L A B. Yes. Or- I thought it was Oral Labs, like like. Like the dog that is just, they're just, extra, they just have a really good kisses, aura. A lot of kicks. Or yeah, oral. <laughs> that too. The aura. That's what we mean. We need a lot of aura. But you know what? I'm feeling some good aura right now. Yes, on, me too. What's it called? A comedy advice podcast. I told you it was going to be obnoxious. My name is Stefan Satani. And joining me today, very special guest, local comedian, and just shining star. Going towards the skies, Patrick Aiken. That's me. Hi, happy to be here. I heard on another podcast how to pronounce your last name, so I was pretty confident. But did I, did I nail it? Yeah, that was perfect. Oh, thank God. Which okay. which podcast? We don't have to promote it. Just it was. Yeah, I don't want to promote a bra talks to people. What an original name! Wow, yeah. wow. And, <laughs> I love him. He's a great, he's great so human funny. being. He's amazing. God, he. I don't know. I just hearing him rant is hilarious. Yes, he just goes and goes. He killed it on my birthday show. I love him so much. I did a live show and I invited him to do a little, we did podcast portion, stand up portion, and then podcast portion again, a little stand up sandwich, if you will. Yeah. And he was the deli meat, like right in between the the smoked turkey. Yeah. Oh, delicious. Yeah. Do they have turkey over there? Over, over, uh, in in Glendale? Uh, (laughs) He's in Tempe. Thank (laughs) you. That's right. That's right. (laughs) I went to his house to podcast too. You know what? He invited me and then he ditched me last second. He was like, is it okay if we do remote? And I was like, I was like, yeah, it's fine. I mean, there's going to be less personal connection. And he's right. like, I'm going for that. Yeah. I really like, don't want. No, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. But um, anyway, it is a, a pleasure to have you because I have seen Patrick all over Instagram. I've seen you amongst flyers and you have your own not just show but sh- multiple shows i do run multiple shows now yeah it's that's nuts that's amazing you've got cobalt comedy every wednesday every other twice the first and third wednesday of the month so only twice a month okay yeah. thank god for you because every yeah. week would have been insane and you have five different people it seems every 
every time. Yeah, I book four features and then a headliner, and then I've been throwing in a guest spot because that's what you should do when you have people coming through town or everyone's yeah. like, hey, I got a buddy. And I hate just saying no, so I'm like, fuck it. Here's an eight-minute spot. We'll open up. Can I curse nice. on this podcast? You Is may. This a, I will I edit it out. I'll bleep it I out. I apologize. It'll, it'll just say, Jesus, instead. Yeah, but... yeah. Jesus it. That's what that's what they they mean. Okay, yeah, our Lord that's and Savior. It. Yeah. yeah, Hail Mary, full yeah. grace. I do like to worship, but that's <laughs> not the same. It's not the same. Uh, but yeah, we, I run the Cobalt Comedy Hour twice a month at a gay bar called Cobalt in Central Phoenix. Very nice. The only nice. only comedy show at a gay bar. Okay. Because drag shows aren't that funny. <laughs> How, so question how did you start how long have you been doing the show at cobalt cobalt we started back in october during the okay. pandemic so okay. i used to run a show at a different bar called los diablos hell of okay. a laugh at los diablos shout out my first show then uh los diablos there was a lot that happened and they ended up closing during the pandemic okay and so the owner of cobalt a uh, very awesome dude jeff Perales, he was like hey if you want to bring your show over here, we'd love to host you, you know, and we came to terms and nice. we did it on the patio. They have this gorgeous outside patio. We get about 70, 75 audience members on it, socially distanced, Whoa. you know, the whole. Yeah. And it's like, it's a good vibe. Yeah. And, uh, and people have been wanting to get out and wanting to laugh and it's turned into a fantastic room and the people keep coming. So I'm going to keep doing it. That is yeah. incredible. Yeah. And I can't wait to go to one of the next shows. I know you're the host. Can we just mention, we've never met before. That's right. I, I, I kind of want to throw that out there because it's really interesting. It, so how so is it interesting? Because like, because we're having know, such a good time well, right now. Our chemistry now? is oof, it's so good. But also, like, you don't know me and you invited me to your house. Yes. And I'm here podcasting at your house. It's a that's, beautiful home. And that's a lot of trust. That, that's a lot of bravery. That is true. You know? And uh, I would like to say that I vetted you through asking other comedians, but I did no such thing. Oh. I will say this, though. I did get, when I when I ask other comedians if there's anyone that they think would be good for the show, I did hear your name thrown out several times. Oh. Yeah. They're like, Patrick Aiken should not be on the show. Yeah. He is awful. Yeah. Don't. Ugh. He needs advice. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> But he should not give it. That's the last thing he should do. <laughs> How to run a shitty show, you but know. I think, you know, I think it's maybe you just look so much like me. It's almost like a, a before and after shot of how to look presentable. Yeah. Because you've got there Cuddle go. Monster over here and mm -hmm. then you've got J. Crew model over yeah. here. It's Banana Republic. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. My, my bad. It's J. Crew, but, you know, in their 30s has money. <laughs> That's right. They're all this. Are they all the same company? No, I think Gap and Banana are the same. I don't think J. Crew is part of that. You're right. J. Crew is a different crew. Yeah. And then it's like yeah. Gap, Banana, and another. It's other ones that aren't yeah. important, right? Because J. Crew is the. Did, no, you said Banana. I'm sorry. Banana You're Republic. a Banana boy. Okay. I'm a Banana boy. Okay. And okay. I like Banana Republic. Okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> oh, shut up, Patrick. I am a five <laughs> below guy because that's where I got this shirt. And uh, my wife was about to throw it in the giveaway pile, and I thought, no, 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 this needs at least one wear. Is that like a big and tall store, Five Below? <laughs> no, that's really be like tall. a short person yeah, store. Yeah, I know, because you're like six thirteen. You're very tall. It's yes, I am six thirteen and a half. But sorry, I got it at uh, no Five Below is it's like the dollar store except five dollars and below. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't. I've never been in there. If you couldn't tell. Well, I mean, you look chic <laughs> AF, and I look like I should be begging for change on the 101 or on the side. So I think uh, that's why. And here I am drinking your wine. I feel like a good person. This was also got at Five Below. So oh. I will say, no, I'm kidding. It's not. <laughs> like, we, didn't, we didn't cheers, by the way. We cheers. didn't cheers. Yes. What are your first impressions, by the way, since this is our first time meeting? How do you feel coming into a stranger's house I, and podcasting? I mean, oh, and podcasting. I was going to say, I come in a lot of strangers' homes, but... <laughs> Uh, the podcasting portion's a good little twist on it, you know, because like there's a there's a to do list, you know. It's, it's no, that's fine. It's uh, yeah, it gets us warmed up for the next things that are about to happen, which are um, tell some jokes. Oh, and, thank uh, God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah open nervous. another bottle. Of wine. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what could happen? <laughs> so Cobalt Comedy, you also have uh, you inherited the Triple Threat Tuesday. Mm -hmm. At Tell House me about of Comedy. How, so John Carden gave you the crown. He did. He did. So he was out of town for a week in January, I think kind of setting up the stuff for his move. Mm -hmm. And so him mm -hmm. and Mike Dapper, the booker for House of Comedy, 
uh, they asked like, hey, do you want to just host the show that one day? And I said, sure, yeah. They're like, you host a good show already. You know, we'll take oh. care of the lineup and stuff. Just come in and host. It was kind of an audition, though. Oh, okay. And so, and I kind of felt it, or at least I treated it like that. And so they didn't tell you. They were like, why don't you try this out? Yeah, like, do you want to host a show? I'm like, sure. Why? Okay. I'm never going to say no to that. Right, I love hosting right. shows. And so um, I treated it like an audition, and I fucking killed it. Oh, my. Stefan, I annihilated. Patrick, can I ask you what it takes to be a good host? Because I'm going to be hosting my first five shows. June 24th through the 26th at JP's House of Comedy. Quick plug, but I'm terrified because I have never hosted before. You've never hosted before? No. You host a podcast. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> you should say everyone's names correctly, which is huge. And I'm not, I don't say that to be a smart ass. I say right. it because like I have messed it up a few times. Yeah. And it's just like, wow, damn, that's like the one thing. Dang, like, okay. All right, okay. here's a story. Here's a story. So, Ooh. how much Ooh. time do we have? Are we? Is there a clock? We've Are we got on the clock? as much time as you need to get to House of Comedy for the oh. funniest person with a day job. Okay, so we got about eight minutes. So, <laughs> uh, no, we got plenty of time. So, there's a local hilarious comic, Luis Alvarez. Do you know Luis Alvarez? I do know Luis Alvarez Fucking because killer. he asked me when I he's going to come on my show. And then we set up a time, and then I was like, hey, you ready? And he's like, oh, sorry, I forgot. I have sorry, work. I'm on tour or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm Dude, sorry. He's killing it. Yeah. So I had him at Cobalt. Now, the show, we were kind of celebrating, and I ha I'll admit, I could have drank less during the show. And Luis was like the comic before the headliner. And so I go up on stage. I'm like, please welcome to the stage, Luis. Oh. And I forgot his last name. And here's the thing. I'm not racist. But right. the more I try to remember his name, the more like every name I thought of that oh, wasn't no. his was a microaggression. Because I'm like, oh, no, it's not Alvarado. It's not Lopez. It's not, you know, Romero. It's not. I went through literally this whole goddamn list because I have dated a lot of Latino men. So I know the Rolodex. And literally, he finally gets up on stage. And it felt like 10 minutes. But, you know, it was like an, an eight second walk up there. And he just goes. Alvarez and I was like oh my god fire me oh, like this shit. is one of the hardest working comics in town busiest guy on tour right now dang and with I, Brian Callen with Brian Callen he's killing it yeah he's they just they just crushed it at Copper Blues last last weekend or two weekends ago did you go no I couldn't make it okay I, 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 I had my own shows I also didn't make it so I mean to be fair to him not showing up maybe that's but it a, was cool nice yeah it was amazing fire absolute fire. yeah and i fucked up his name and he was cool you know i talked to him after i'm like i'm so sorry da 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 and he's yeah. like hey, bro it's fine i get it but like i felt terrible and now i'm like all right patrick you can't do that again honestly oh. so learn from my mistakes learn from my mistakes young stuff good for you know what yes. i will be a little hosting padawan and yes. uh, learn as much as i can in the ways of the i'll just get a ticket to every show and if it's um if you're doing terribly i'm just gonna i would in the front <laughs> Just take the mic from me. Yeah, exactly. like I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, these people paid to be here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the I'm the Stefan 2.0 Patrick right, Aiken, yeah. and I'll be introducing. Hi, good those. morning. I know all of the names of the lineup. So, so That's, you said five tips. Let's just like let's can we like space out when I deliver those tips for hosting? Oh yes, absolutely. I I have five shows, so I don't need five tips. Oh, but I the more said five tips. Maybe I did. I could be wrong. Maybe I did. We'll, we'll look. We'll figure it out in post. Exactly. Um, it's just, but it's not just the tips. That's not what this podcast yeah. is about. We go all in. And speaking of all in, I don't have a transition for that. But wanted to. Oh, speaking of all in, you've been doing comedy for three years only, and you've yes. already been doing all of this. So it seems like you've really dedicated yourself to go far. And where do you see yourself in the next three years? Ooh, the next three years. Um, <sighs> well, I was. So if COVID hadn't happened, I got into four festivals last year. Ma, two went virtual. One didn't happen. Dang. Two did. Both two didn't happen. And so, you know, the festivals was like, for me, what I thought was the next step. I mean, we all just make this up as we go. Mm -hmm. But that's where you really network with people from all over the place, you know, and it's just like you get friends and all. Of, and when you're traveling, you know, you can swing through and say, hey, do you got a spot for me? Or, you know, if it goes really good, because that's where they have a lot of talent bookers and and from uh, different networks and things so, like I was hoping like oh I'll just knock it out at these festivals and meet people and find out that I'm not ready or or it'll go well and either way like you could build back take some more time so yeah, yeah. um some festivals have started to creep back okay it seems yeah. at least they're starting to like accept applications again so hopefully by the end of this year or early next year that'll be back in the circuit but in the next three years honestly I'm not sure that's okay. a good, yeah, because that's a disappointing answer. I know, I know. It's Jesus. Okay, um, well, you know, uh, you know, headlining <laughs> Madison Square Garden every weekend. That's better. With, uh, that's right, folks. Hosting a show once a month in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> you know, 
with yeah. Jimmy Kimmel opening for me. Yeah. Uh, why? What do I? What do I say? In three years, so headlining with Bill Burr featuring. For yeah, me. you may have heard of him. And yeah. so I. Uh, oh, your April Fool's joke with Bill Burr, fucking beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. I was like, oh, I'll watch that episode. Oh, it's a joke. Finally, one. I'm, I'm glad. In it, you know, I'm <laughs> glad that that's what it takes for people to listen to the podcast because there were so many comments on that too, and they were like, "Oh man, I almost watched your podcast." And I was like, "Oh great, well good. Maybe next time." So the joke's on you still. <laughs> yeah, I know. Perfect. <laughs> that's, that's, that's everyone's like just a little mini April Fool's joke to you. It's like, oh, right back at you, Steve. <laughs> oh, that's that. I mean, it's Stefan, by the way. Stefan. There you go. That's funny. It's the wine. <laughs> that was good. That's funny. That's good. Like kill the. Back yeah. to serious. I love doing that. That's yeah. That's I what love I love doing. doing just making my Stephen. guests feel so bad about. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. No, I'm, I'm the guest, so. <sighs> anyway, do wrong. It it was uh, slightly uh, humiliating for people to be like, "Well, I guess if Bill Burr's not on, then I'm not going to watch <laughs> yet." You've been uh, oh, sorry. What 250 episodes? <laughs> yes. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Tell me when you get Bill Burr. It's like it's like fuck off. Like because you're going to get Bill Burr, and then they're going to say. Yeah. Okay, well, tell me when you get, you know, uh, Dave Chappelle. You know, like, just like, there's always oh, going to be dude. the next thing. When's Anyways. Joe Rogan coming yeah, on, bro? Yeah, I'm like, it's... he has his own podcast. Oh, fuck. I know. Is. It's, uh, yeah. But, you know, I I guess I will, um, you know, continue and trudge on to nobody listening except for mom. Thank you, mom. Love you. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we're going to get into the advice portion of the podcast. Okay. Patrick, are you a good advice giver? I think I am. A lot of people come to me for advice. Okay. Because, like, I'm only 30, but I'm actually 187 years old. Oh, really? So, I'm pretty wise. Carl Umfris was on the podcast, and he told me he was a 2,000-year-old wizard. So, I feel like... Is it the Banana Republic that keeps you aging so nicely? The wine, I'm not going to give away the secret. <laughs> <You're> still, <laughs> okay. We don't have time is this the secret revealing podcast? This, you know, I just started watching The Secret on Netflix. Oh. I would ask what it's about, but I feel like you can't tell. Me. I can't tell yeah. you that. You have Dang to watch it. it. Otherwise, it. it's it's like I did an I did a I was actually in Don't Tell Comedy recently. No big deal. Very nice. And uh, and someone was like, "Oh my God, where's the show?" And I'm like, "I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. You want to know? I can't tell you." It was. I was like, "This is why I exist. <laughs> just to, just to do that." <laughs> You know what? Maybe it felt so good <laughs> to be able to say that. <laughs> Maybe if I did that with the podcast, where it's like, "Don't tell podcast," and like, uh, "It's a secret." Sorry. And I'd be like, "Well, I want to learn." Maybe I should just stop posting constant videos because that's hours of my time. That goes against everything they say, though, about promoting a podcast. Though they're like, "You have to stay relevant. You got to post every day." That's uh, what they sound like. And that, that, yeah, absolutely. Uh, actually, yeah. sounds like me basically. No, I'm not sounding like you. I wasn't trying to sound a, like you. Got to be relevant. <laughs> you got <be, laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> you a bull burr on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're having uh, too much fun. Sorry. No, but yeah, this is we got to tone it down a yeah. little bit. Let's get some Let's advice. Get serious. Ooh. <laughs> well, on the agenda here, before we answer some questions from the Reddit advice column, Ooh. I've got a wonderful inspirational quote to just we're grounded right now. I okay. just want us high as a kite. And so I'm going to okay. inspire us with my inspirational quote. But I'd like to ask my guests if they have any inspirational quotes that help get them through those non-motivating days or those days where it just don't feel like doing anything like maybe hosting a show or um, having Bill Burr feature for them in uh, Carnegie Hall or like, uh, I guess I'll let him <laughs> open but he can't do the bit about hitting women um, <laughs> so uh, do I go first or you want this you may okay you may, yes. may I you thank may. you <laughs> thank you Stefan so nice so, of you to ask <laughs> nobody asked before I don't know so polite. I don't know who you want to go first so the quote that I live by is it inspirational I don't know but I'm actually a big advocate for like mental health awareness, and May is mental health and mental health awareness month. Ooh. I don't know when you're gonna put this out. Probably MHM. in June. In so June, this so is bad timing during Pride but... Month. So yes, no, um, this may be May, so we'll see. Well, no pressure. Anyways, <laughs> my quote is that I like my mantra. Even I would say, is it's okay to not be okay. I like that, and it's like for me, it's huge because especially with like. You know, I struggle with depression a lot. It's been a long, long journey for me. Yeah, yeah. And so there are a lot of days where it kind of becomes like a, like a, a, it's obviously a well that you fall into, but it like feeds itself at the same time where like yeah. you're sad about whatever. And then you feel sad. You're like beat up yourself because you're sad about whatever. And it's like, yeah. no, 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 hold on. Like, it's okay to not, you don't owe the world your smile. You don't owe them a good day. You don't owe them anything like that. You're allowed to take the time. Yeah. Have the day that you're having and yeah. just like recognize it. 
figure out, you know, your paces to getting back to where you want to be, get back in that kind of mindset that you prefer to be, but it's okay to not be okay. Stop beating yourself up, up about that. That's I get pretty serious about that. Stuff. No, no. And so. that's okay. I want to dive into this serious well with you. Mm-hmm. Maybe not a well, because we, I don't know if we can <clears throat> climb out of it. Depression's like, a well. This depression <laughs> pond, maybe we could do. Okay, like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Wade yeah. in there. Quagmire. Splash yeah. a little bit. <laughs> hey, you am sad. <laughs> Sadness. So, but, but I think you're totally right. And one of the things <clears throat> that I ended up doing, and I know my fans are like, God, stuff and shut up. But I ended up getting into therapy, not necessarily because I was like, oh my God. I can't take this anymore, but I was like, I want to be a better human. And I feel like there are things that are preventing me from being the best person that I can be, AKA getting Bill Burr on the podcast, please bill, come on. But I started looking into cognitive behavioral therapy where they talk a lot about instead of trying to ignore feelings or push them away, recognizing feelings yeah. and being in that moment and then trying to trace back the thoughts that are leading to those feelings and then setting realistic thoughts instead, whether it's like, okay, this might not be accurate. Um, I might not get fired if I do a bad job mm-hmm. talking and presenting to my boss or something, but yeah. um, it's okay to just dive into those feelings and sit in them for a little while mm-hmm. and recognize that they're there yeah. because it's exa- it reminds me of this book that I read, um, oh my God, by Mark Manson, such The Subtle Art of not what? Gi- not Giving a Fuck. Yes, of Not Giving a Fuck. I was saying, such a good book, because it was so good he didn't remember the title. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, fascinating it's, it's book. It's my yeah. favorite book. <laughs> I read the back end of it. I didn't, I read like the back chapter, but uh, he talks yeah. about exactly like you said, the fee- he calls it the feedback loop of hell. Yeah, it's a loop. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's so true that you mm-hmm. say that. You're the first person to actually say it out loud, which I feel like makes you a little smarter than the rest. Maybe, a little, maybe it's the banana Republic. It just I mean, adds plus five wisdom oops. to this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I used to play video games. I used to be a nerd. You know? I know. Uh, I'm so, do you see my hair? It looks like I'm taking two hobbits to Isengard. It does. Just... Exactly. We all need a dungeon master (laughs) and we're glad we have you and i'm here to fill that hole in the dungeon but i feel like this is super important for folks to be able to Mm -hmm. recognize and sit in their feelings a little bit instead of trying to escape them yeah and and there are so many ways that you can try to escape them whether uh well i don't want to get into all that but yes i agree with what you're saying Mm -hmm. beautiful inspirational quote i am going to so real, just can we go see go see a therapist it's okay like because my parents come from a generation where therapy was a bad word yes and i just I assume our parents are the similar age and yes. it's just like and when i told my parents like oh i'm seeing a therapist they're like and they're both separated like they're divorced but even at the same time but i'm like it's not what you think it is like yeah. everyone i was like you guys need to go see therapy like yeah. you need it yeah and just like go just go talk go learn about yourself be like learn yes be, you don't owe the world being a better human but if you want to know yourself better and try and just fix things that you might not even know are about yourself yeah. it's life-changing and it's it'll save people's lives too i've seen that so quick plug for therapy that is oh, thank you for letting me interrupt you Jack. that is very true yeah, yeah i wish you wouldn't have but that it was worth it in the end <laughs> I, I, I you, do... you lost me until you know this <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like okay blah, blah, parents, okay blah, blah. fucking liberal liberals <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember it was a couple weeks ago and I told my mom that I started therapy yeah. for the first time and she was like, what did I, I do wrong? That's yeah. what she thought, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it, it's nothing it's not bad. Think. It's, yeah. it is, there are so many things that people want to learn about and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm doing research about kombucha and that's fucking awesome. <laughs> but it's like, do you want to learn about yourself? Because right. yeah. I feel like we don't take that dive into ourselves and understand why we act the way we do Mm -hmm. why we think the way we do and i feel like therapy is super helpful to be able to understand that so having a magnifying glass basically you're like kind of googling yourself yeah why do i feel this way and then you you're like your own google and you're like i don't want to talk about that but that's the point yeah that's why like no we're gonna talk about it sometimes you're like did you mean sports did you (laughs) mean drugs Uh, yeah Yeah. like no 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 why am i your virginity stop (laughs) it Yes, that's what I meant. Uh, well, beautiful. I mean, laughs, roll it in the deep. This is just... There's a fire. What a wonderful, wonderful... God, pretty soon, I'm going to be ordering from Banana Republic. I want to be like Stefan, Steph Aiken. Steph, Steph Aiken? Aiken? <laughs> All right, we'll work... Do we just become best friends? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this really is our first time meeting. And 
it won't be our last. Jeez, it will is, not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You are. I will open the door for any time you want to come back on the podcast. That's great. And then any time you want to just stop by for a glass of Menage a Trois. I should mention that is a wine, by the way. But um, if you want a glass of wine, you're more than welcome. I mean, one of his cats already loves me. So I am a little pissed about that because she came up right up to you. And <laughs> this morning I was like, Bells, come here. And she's like, <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe I, I will have to get the Banana Republic. She's like, that's a man I can trust. Okay. Yeah. She's like, All right. Okay. <laughs> she was like, he has enough money to feed me. <laughs> this guy, I don't know. He can barely afford a five dollar shirt. Right. There's a bear on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. All right. We're All getting right. off topic. Yes. It's okay. Well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to center us here with an inspirational <clears throat> quote from a robot. It's actually called Inspirobot. And oh. what it does is it uses AI to just go into the depths of scar- scholarly articles, maybe some categories of Pornhub, and uh, just all of the text across the world and just create some of the most beautiful inspirational quotes. So is it like when they'll have the computers like scan all like the Shakespeare scripts and then ask it to write its own play and it's just like... Oh my God. That is exactly okay. right. Okay. That I'm is excited. exactly right. Don't get too excited because I'm going to read this quote. You're, you can tell me what it means to you this week. And there's a picture actually with a <laughs> half of, no, a quarter of a bike <laughs> and some handlebars. And uh, Inspirebot this week says, You can't be alone with a zombie. That's and true. that's all. I mean, it's true. It's not wrong. I yeah. mean, I don't know why it's... anyone would want to be alone with a yeah. zombie. I mean, I've dated some guys that I'm like, are you alive? <laughs> Why are we in the same room together right now? Like, you just want I... me for my flesh. Right, exactly. That's... You want to <laughs> eat my brains and become smarter. <laughs> oh, man. Not, not again. Just want to unpeel this banana yeah, boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first four times, like, okay, it's cute. But, <laughs> but... I agree. I yeah. feel like if you want to be with a zombie, you should have a group. <clears throat> Because that way, it's just more fun. And oh, yeah. Th- you can't be worried about your brains, because then that person might just go for the brain. It's of like else. spin the bottle, but with a zombie. <gasps> spin the zombie. Oh, spin Who's the- it going to go for? <laughs> we have to do if this. That is not a scene. <laughs> we have to do it. In a zombie this land I swear movie. to God, if it's not an SNL skit or something, I'm going to be pissed. Spin the- Lauren, if you take this shit, <laughs> we will be pissed. The- we want royalties, okay? Yes, exactly. Steph Aiken, we want... TM, that- trademark, hashtag, whatever. It's, <laughs> you can't take it. You can't take it. Copyrighted. Can't take it. Copyrighted. Written. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. Well, I feel nice and inspired. Yeah, so I'm ready. Can, Let's fucking do it. We can dive into the brains of some of these questions. So this first mm. question from the Reddit advice column says, is this skateboard too sexy to skate? I bought a skateboard deck earlier today because I want to get back into skating. I'm also into anime, so I got a deck with an anime girl on it. Thinking about it now, I'm wondering if it's too revealing to skate. Like, will people start looking at me weird or ask questions? To describe it, it isn't too revealing, but the girl has big breasts and her foot is at the bottom of the board. That's all. So my first piece of advice is to maybe use less words in your questions. <laughs> Doesn't need to be a journey here. You're like you your, yeah. your neurons are just skating by <laughs> right, here with like, all this okay. fluff that you Yeah, have. I'm like, all right, yeah, it's like it's like joke writing. Like, we don't need that. We don't need these parts. This you lost me here. I, I don't w- care that it was raining, you know, like I will be honest with you, I did trim that down from what it was too. So it is part my fault. I will accept the blame. However, it was like two paragraphs. How funny that that's my first comment. <laughs> the- <laughs> Like, it's a fair comment. <laughs> yeah. It is a lot. Oh, God. Also, I think if the skateboard, if I am, uh, I have never skated before, but I have played Tony Hawk a fair amount in my youth. I did a, yeah, a long time ago. And I the would always grind. That's... I was, and this isn't a joke about grinder. Okay. I always, well, I really, it, it was fitting. I, I know, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but I did grind a lot. Maybe this is what, that's why I'm gay. That's probably it. That's, <laughs> that's it what you right found there. Out, that like, was it. I was like, I'm getting so many points. This grinding. cartoon guy is kind of cute. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, that is sorry. amazing. <clears throat> um, I was also thinking when you are grinding or otherwise, the skateboard art is on the bottom. So I don't think you're cutting it up. It's like it's yeah. like a yeah. So I don't think that you're really revealing your no. bottom to anyone unless you're doing like a mad kickflip and it's flipping and showing those breasts. Right. But otherwise just like maybe just grind. Maybe that's the advice. Just grind. Right. Just all grind, the time. bro. Just grind, man. Just okay. just grind. <laughs> I feel like we should leave it at that. 
so this is just a general advice not like comedy like oh no no this th- i mean there's this just turned a, there's, into comedy advice but yes but like where it derives from on reddit it's just oh oh yes where advice. it derives from this is actual advice. it's just the advice hey guys i need advice about yes anything anything oh, at all i thought there was like a comedy specific one no okay. no no all this right. is this is actual the party let's yeah. do it actual questions <laughs> second question this is the last question it's from reddit the advice it's column. okay there could be more it says uh why am i the untalented one i don't understand my family is full of talent dancers singers artists my mother is a very smart woman who can sing act and write beautifully my uncle is a dancer that everyone likes. My cousins are all great at either sports or singing. Most of my friends are great singers as well. Meanwhile, no one likes me, and I have no talent at all. I suck at everything. I want an answer. It makes no sense to me. Oh, hmm. Patrick. Uh, well, obviously, you're probably one of the talented ones in your family. Do you have anyone that sucks and no one likes them? Um, yeah, I think my sister wrote that article. So, <laughs> or wrote that comment. No. What's your sister's name? No, it's a, it's a joke. Oh, okay. Not, I, sorry. You it's don't even not, have a sister? I do have two sisters, but no, they're wonderful. They're very talented. They're great mothers. Oh. I, they're, they're not, you're not bad at this. And I'm not going to say which sister I was referring to. Oh, okay. Well, so, it's very, a mystery. Very smart. Very smart. So, are they, they're all talented. Yeah, I think, I mean, in my family, I do have a brother that kind of sucks at everything. So, but we try and include him in stuff. We're like, why don't you sing in the karaoke? Then we get reminded how bad he is. And we're like, oh, that's why. So then he sits in the back for the rest. Okay. Just kick him out of the room entirely. Yeah. He can be in the lounge area. But I feel like that's not true. That's me. I, it's not my brother. I suck at singing. But I feel like, I think you got to turn that frown upside down with some of those thoughts, bro. Cause you're, I suck at everything and no one likes me. That's becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. I mean, we're going back to this whole therapy discussion, really, is what it is. Like, my advice is to go see a therapist and talk through this stuff. That's, yeah, I agree it, Like, with you. honestly, real talk. But I obviously, agree. they're good at something. I mean, did a five-year-old write that or did, like, a 28-year-old write that? You know, I just want to, how far along are we to determine, like, I can't do anything? Good point. You know? Can you imagine if it was a first grader on Reddit? <laughs> exactly. Like, to be I like, suck. I can't even color in between like, the lines. Yeah, exactly. Like, bro, hopefully you're still just, you're just <laughs> inching your way up. Like, it's okay. If you're not, if you hit your stride in kindergarten, then, then all right, this makes sense. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. This is very like, pretty. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think therapy is the answer here. Turn that frown upside down. Yeah, it's just like, it's like half find empty, half, something. Half, half empty, half. Yeah, there's something out there. There's like, got to be something. Start with the things you are good at, like because you think yeah. talent. Talent is t- like, can you, can you load the dishwasher correctly? That's a win. Start that's, start collecting your wins, you know. And that's something that has to happen at every family occasion. So after yeah. Thanksgiving, it's like, oh, Brett's gonna load the dishwasher. Woo, Brett, yes, Woo! we load that. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yes, and, it's a thing. Like find your find your wins. Start collecting them. That builds your confidence, and then start branching out because. I hate doing things the first time because I'm always terrible at it. Oh. Always terrible at everything. It's but I, I learn from my mistakes. I learn from them really well. And so like you give me two or three shots at it, then I'm like, okay, I've got this. Oh. So speak, speaking of shots, just take two or three shots. So your first shot is more comfortable. I did on the drive here. Oh, but, okay. um it's I was gonna say you feel very comfortable, relaxed, your game is up. I know it's the first time we met, but I was so nervous. Fantastic. <laughs> I could tell. Not at all. You look you look like you should be hosting this podcast. No, I, um, no, you're such a good host. It looks like you just picked me up off the street and were like, do you want shelter? And, I mean, I'm uh, glad you think I'm that strong, but uh, <laughs> I was just piggybacked on the back. Yeah, just like, <laughs> yeah. It's like ninety eight degrees today. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, but uh I feel like we wrapped up that question. That and segment is done. Donezo. And uh, we've uh, we've repealed, we've unpeeled. No, we have peeled this banana okay. and ready never, to ship it out. Never repeeled a banana. Be like, yep, yeah, it's good. All right, just good get some new. scotch tape. And fucking just, all right, it's good. To, they'll never notice. Like, that's why I don't go to Food City. Jesus. Or Five Below. That yeah. they've got plenty of those. God, this came with a free re- <laughs> like banana. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> oh well patrick it has been such a blast to have you on the podcast i also wanted to ask where can people find you what have you got going on what would you like to plug so i mean the best place to learn about my upcoming shows is my website Ooh. which is patrick aiken was taken.com love it 
love it. Because patrickaiken.com was in fact taken. No one's using it, but the domain was not available. But if you remember, if you remember that it rhymes, but not the exact words, but if you, if you go to patrickaikenmakesbacon.com, it'll take you to patrickaikenwastaken.com. Oh, so you've got that domain too. Because I'm not here to fuck around. Dude, I, I am hoping for an upcoming cooking show as well, where you make bacon. Maybe just, <laughs> just bacon. Just, 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 fucking, just, just fucking grease everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, I host the Cobalt Comedy Hour the first and third Wednesday of the month. Nice. I, uh, I host Triple Threat Tuesday starting back up on June 1st at the House of Comedy. Every Sorry, every Tuesday, every week. Oh, okay. Triple Threat Tuesday every tuesday do you so, is that how we say it triple threat tuesday triple threat tuesday so, the, the, all the comics the whole lineup just goes in a line like, like triple no, threat tuesday just, triple no, threat no there's like fucking patrick that's what <laughs> oh they do every God. time every time god uh, damn it it's alvarez yeah, patrick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i will oh louise i will never forgive myself and i so, can't wait to meet you louise by the way i know i talked a little shit but love you love your work and i hope that you can come on the podcast sometime because uh Please, just please come on the podcast. Please, please. Um, and then I just do, I get booked for other shit around the valley. You know, I'm pretty excited about this one. I got asked to do a pride show at Luke's Air Force Base next month. Oh, not I'm, is that a bar or is that an actual Air Force Base? It's an actual Air Force Base. You don't know where Luke's Air Force Base is? No. It's over there. It's it's, the, <laughs> it's over It's there. on the west side. You don't know about this? Anyways. It's so weird that it's they call it Luke's. It's a big deal. So thank you, Stefan. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's fine. No, it's okay. It's okay. Why did they call it Luke's if it was like St. John's? I don't know it's named Force after. I don't know the guy. I'm, hopefully I meet him. But like. Oh, the Luke. like, oh my God, that's this is, this is his base. Luke. Exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. God damn. Well, I want to meet Luke now. That's uh, Well, I'll see if there's any room on the show. Are there any? Are there, <laughs> is there a guest spot? <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey, there's a guy here. He, look, he's, he loves Luke. Can he, he just, just, can he just yeah, he's looking for Luke. <laughs> look, yeah, exactly. He's a big just, Star Wars fan. Just oh, one picture, please. Yeah, that's <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, man. Well, guess what? You guys aren't even going to have to. My little cherubs, my watchers or listeners and viewers, you guys are not even going to have to spell Patrick Aiken because it's going to be in the show notes. So you can just click your chubby, adorable little thumbs or your scrawny, bony little thumbs on those show notes and you can go right to the website or to Instagram or wherever you want to follow him. Support him. And uh, don't forget to support me. I'm going to be hosting at JP's Comedy Club. Five shows, the 24th through the 26th of June. So please go there. Link will be in the show notes as well. And um, I like to end with a hum. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, oh. guys. Oh, <laughs> We're not going to harmonize? Oh, yeah. Maybe we should. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Goodbye, everybody. And that's the end of the episode. Patrick was delightful. I know you think so too. Man, I sure enjoyed him and his company. So I hope you guys give him a little shout, follow him, DM him, give him some love. Say, hey, Pat, take over the show because Stefan doesn't know what he's doing and his hair is growing too long. It's getting in his face and he's just running blind over here. Anything that you want to tell him, uh, please do or, or not. Just follow him and be, be like Hank. And uh, anyway, love you guys so much. For, support me too, please. Oh, I've almost forgot about little old me. That's what, I'm just so selfless. It's hard to think of myself sometimes, even though I'm looking right at myself. I know you guys on the audio mediums can't see it, but maybe you feel my gaze. But my gaze, I feel my gaze because I'm staring. It's like a Justin Timberlake song. Staring back at me. I don't know how to lose you now like it's a mirror i don't know i don't know the words but uh and and i can see the embarrassment in my own face as i'm looking at myself but i will mirror love to you guys and let you guys go give you mercy stop talking for one second steph well here we go i'm gonna give you guys a big gooch smooch and and just say thank you thank you thank you thank you for everything you guys done i everything you guys done now, what am I like from Jersey? Am I from am I, uh, Stephalopolis from Hoboken here? Am I in the mafia? I don't know. But thank you guys for everything you guys did. Maybe that's the right pa past participle. But everything that you guys have did, you guys are amazing. You really, your support helps 
me continue this. And I've done this for over 260 episodes and I'm going to keep going for another 260 at least. Then I think uh, in my journal, I was like, okay, after 260 times two, five, 20, <laughs> then it's, it's done. Dunzo time. You're going to shave your head. You're going to get a corporate job. You're going to work at Starbucks corporate and you're going to come up with new Frappuccino ideas. So that's it. I've only got 260 more episodes left. So please support me in any way you can send me monies. If you can by uh, sponsoring with I'm sponsored. Manscaped is now a sponsor sponsoring these episodes. So, so if you've got a friend, if you, maybe you've got a jungle down there, your, your jewels are well protected by a bushel and you want to clear that bushel so you can share those jewels those coveted, coveted jewels with some of your friends <laughs> or, you know, a loved one. Some, well, I mean like a, a, a wife or a girlfriend, maybe not a brother or a sister, but uh, the links in the show notes here too. So you guys are wonderful. I love you so much. Big old gooch smooch. Ah, Desert Blossom out.